Well, you had oh, some cracking oh, songs, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Especially Push the Button, I love that song. Yeah, it's oh, nice, but we were having you. a little trip down memory lane then and singing along. What's it like for you looking back at things like that? Can you look at it and enjoy it? Do you cringe at your hairstyles or...? Do you know what? I look at it and think, oh, my God, I'm so much, young, so much younger. Yeah. How would you feel if, like, next year she said, Mum, I'm joining a pop band? Well, thank God she doesn't want to sing. <laughs> but, um, uh, I would, you know what? I just I feel like she needs to grow up and go to school and have fun. So would you try and put her off? Yeah. Even though you had a great time. Yeah. I wanted to live her life first. Yeah. Yeah. But you yeah. had no regrets, do you? Looking back, you get, I mean, you're very young when you started. What about yeah. your family? Were they encouraging? Or were they worried about it? I, I guess they had their, like, the pros and cons, so they were worried. But then at the same time, I enjoyed singing from... I was singing from, like, six. Yeah. So it was like, um, it felt natural. And in those days, you didn't have kind of X Factor or no, anything nothing. like that. You no, just had to kind of hard. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you had to do an apprenticeship, didn't you? Basically, yeah. we had to do every TV show. We had to be up in the like four or five in the morning doing things, and we spent a lot of time promoting out there. If we had the internet like that now, we'd be... no. Yeah, you absolutely. were the first one to leave, weren't you? I was. And then after that, people left. All... I mean, it's had more. It kind of went like... yeah. I've, I've come from like a big family. So I know how it feels to always have my mum around and, and I felt like I wasn't spending enough time with her. So I wanted to have her look after her and make sure she was sorted and first. And do you think that's what made you maybe take a back step on the dating scene, which is why you're now ready for love again? Well, my dating scene hasn't been the best, I must admit. It, can be... it was horrific at times. But I feel like now I've had a bit of space for myself and my daughter's 13. So I can like go out and just enjoy myself. Is she into you finding a new man? Yeah, does she She's mind happy you? for me. Does she mind? Yeah, she was like, we was watching the program last night. She was like, Mom, oh my God. She was like, everyone's going, she's like, oh my God, I bet I'm going to get this tomorrow. Why didn't you get with him on the advert? The other one, that one there. <laughs> well, I suppose you have to have a man. Yeah, like yeah. I do. I'm got... full of him myself. You know, but, like on, one of my favorite, like, like Millionaire Matchmaker, yeah. another dating show in America, Patty always says, Who is your celebrity? Who would be your ultimate celebrity? Crush, if you had to choose, so we'd know what your type was. Of all this, of all the famous people in the world, who would that be? Can you think of somebody? Oh, I don't know. Oh God, who's your Too ultimate many. type as a famous person? Hold on, as a type, I'm, I'm, I, if I could have everyone, I would. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. I do a bit of everyone. Yeah, I feel like just. It's one thing so, to go out so on a date. It's from. quite another to go out on a very public date. So what, very what public. kind of made you decide to do that? Um, I just want, I've never, I've never been a great dater, to be honest. So for me, it was kind of just being able to test myself to go, oh, actually, you can go out. And I was going on blind dates. And I was going on dates with guys that I wasn't even knowing that they were coming on dates with me. So that was more scary Ooh. to know that I've seen a picture of them or I've not seen, and it's a complete new thing. But on the celebs go dating, you, you're not dating other celebs? No, no. No. No, we're not allowed to. <laughs> so that must be quite daunting for... The person who's not the celeb, isn't it? Do they well, know yeah. they're coming? So basically, why did it? I, he was very attractive. He just wasn't for me. Um, he said no anyway, which was kind of good. But everyone he said made, no. Yeah, but everyone made me feel really bad. Like I felt I wanted to go. Well, I wasn't going to cry, but I was like, yeah, I'm cool with that because I didn't like him. I felt like we spoke more, but I was so drunk. Like, I just, oh, wait. I just kept talking and talking, and I think I might. Have Chewed his ear off. I don't know, or maybe I was just wanting more shots. So difficult, more shots. though, isn't it? Jane? It mm. is. And are, you no, literally, are you literally Horrible. looking yeah. for? You know, without sounding too cheesy, but are you really looking for the one and someone to settle with? Because you, you know, you're, you've got your daughter to consider, and mm. that's always hard. I think if you're dating when you have children, is then you've got to really like this person enough to then introduce. To introduce, them, yeah. right? To and your my daughter. daughter's a very. She's a hard-working girl. Like she's. She's hard to please. Like, if she doesn't like you, you will know about it. I was going to say, 13 year old girl, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, intense. it's very intense because I, I, I feel guilty. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. You're embarrassing me. Stop. And then, um, but to be honest, doing the show has just made me realise I actually really enjoy I've not had a chance to date and I really enjoy dating and I really enjoy going out with a guy and getting drunk and having food and, yeah. and just but having fun. But the show's going to get you out of the habit of not dating, isn't it? it well, yeah, now I feel like a professional. Else. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, hey, what's your name? Just go out tomorrow. Just give you a And bit I did that. Yeah, I did. I walked up to a guy and I was like, what are you doing tomorrow? And he was like, nothing. I said, do you want to go out? Do you want to go out? And he's like, yeah. I was like, oh, cool. But you're not allowed, to, you're not allowed to date the other celebs. You're that, not meant to. That no. boy of Love Island's a good-looking boy, isn't he's he? He's beautiful. E yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's... He, he's well, why is, can he not find a girlfriend? I'm sure he could, but... um. I guess all of us are pretty fussy, to be honest. I mean, Chloe's extremely fussy. Um, Olivia, she's just a bundle of joy, but she's fussy as well.